Tonight, we're hearing for the first time from a San Francisco sheriff's cadet who says Board of Supervisors President Shimon Walton verbally abused him at a city hall security checkpoint, all because Walton didn't want to take off his belt. Details have been trickling out since the incident in late June, but tonight we hear the cadet story from the cadet himself. NBC Bay Area's Cheryl Hurd has the story. A cloud is hanging over San Francisco City Hall tonight. The city's yeah, Board of Supervisor president is accused of using a racial slur no against the sheriff's cadet. My main concern is clearing my name. I just want him to tell the truth. That's that's line one for me. Amari he Butler says his truth that. is explaining what happened when Supervisor Shaman Walton was asked to take off his belt before going through security at City Hall. We did make an agreement between him and I that if there wasn't a crowd that I would want him. But it was the weekend of pride. Obviously, there's a huge crowd and he didn't stick to the agreement. Instead, Butler says the supervisor wanted to push his way through, but he didn't allow it. That's when Butler says Walton got mad and used a racial slur. He looked at me, pointed at the glass and said, it's N-words like you who look like me. That's always a problem. And then continue on to say that the process was some N-word. An internal memo from the sheriff's department claims Walton admitted to using the racial slur many times during the exchange. And now Walton is defending the exchange in two written statements, saying in part, the whole thing is being mischaracterized. He says no other supervisor has been a thorn in the sheriff's department's side than him. And he says the sheriff's office is retaliating against him because he's called for more accountability and transparency in the sheriff's office. I'm not in a position to retaliate. What he's speaking of is something that's above my pay grade. Mayor London Breed is weighing in, saying no worker should ever be treated with disrespect, the N-word isn't appropriate in the workplace, and an apology would be appropriate. If he apologizes now, it won't mean much. I just want him to look his constituents in the eye and tell them that he lied. I reached out to Supervisor Walton with a text, and he responded by saying that he stands by his statements. Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.